Welcome to Grow Dinner Aquaponics. Today I'd like to talk with you about a do-it-yourself solar panel I've used for a couple of years. It works out pretty good for heating our fish ponds in early spring and late fall. Made out of a sliding glass door. It's real easy, real inexpensive. I'm going to show you a little bit about the construction and how easy it was to build. Okay, let's look at the construction of this thing. It's made out of two befores. It's a couple of years old, so we haven't painted or anything. It probably could use a coat of paint. Basically, we've screwed some two befores together, took some lawnmower wheels, a through bolt through here with washers and all. That makes it really easy to roll around in the yard. It works kind of like a wheelbarrow does, and we've got handles on the other side. Now, here on the sliding glass door, we have hinges and some screws so that we can open and access our panel. All right, let me take you around to the other side. Okay, let's look at this side. This side has our handle to work like a wheelbarrow so we can roll it around. This is in from our pond, our inlet. We have a valve here so that we can turn the water pressure down on the pump if the pump is overrunning the panel. So if you have too big of a pump or you're running it off your well, then it's really simple to control your water pressure right here. Water through your panel so fast at such a high volume that it's not heating for you. This will actually give you the opportunity to turn it down right here at your panel. So I find that to be very important since most pumps actually do not have a control on them. What we're using here is PEX. Uh, PEX plumbing, it comes in a roll. You can buy it at almost any hardware store. This is actually not the best connection here. I just didn't have a connector here and there's not a lot of pressure so I used a clamp. You can actually get a fitting here for the PEX. And PEX fittings come in two types. They have a screw together fitting and they have a tool and crimp method. So, but PEX, you may find that really works well for you around aquaponics. Okay, let's open up our glass panel and take a look inside. A small board actually helps you. You can just stick it in there. Okay, inside we've got a 1x6. Just screw to the bottom to kind of let some air circulation move around in our box. But then we've got PEX. PEX plumbing, the same thing we have on the top. It is wound in the same pattern as the top is. Then we have corrugated roofing metal. The corrugated has waves in it, so that will help reflect more sunlight and draw more sunlight to your PEX plumbing. A piece of flat metal will not give you the same effect as what I have found. Okay, a lot of holes, a lot of zip ties. Just start at the top, roll it nice and neat. Do it on a fairly warm day and PEX will bend a lot easier for you. It'll just kind of mold into place as you start. It comes on a roll so it automatically rolls for you. And you just start in one place and roll around. Now I want to take you down below and just kind of show you how we ran the PEX plumbing because it is very important in my opinion to which side of the panel feeds and which side of the panel is your outlet. So let me take you down and show you this side. Let's take a look at our PEX tubing that we're running. Our inlet side goes on the bottom of the panel so it winds underneath and gets a preheat stage before it reaches the top of your panel. Then when it reaches the top of your panel, which is going to be the hottest part of your panel, then it's going to circle around and work its way out the outlet. I like to hook a hose up in spring and kind of flush my lines out and get all the air out of it and also get anything that may have crawled up in it, spiders, ants, what have you. And that kind of cleans it out and gives it a good flushing for spring. So. Now let's hook our pump up and uh, get ready to get started. It actually started drizzling rain some, so what we're going to do is call today for today and come back out tomorrow on a little prettier day. He's tired. It's been a long day of videoing.